Discover Magazine is a reputable science publication, but its cover story this month is unorthodox. The Electric Man, it says, and from a scientist as respected as you will find. Swedish radiologist Bjorn Nordenstrom is far from a quack. His credentials read like a who's who in the field of medical technology. His research over more than a decade is now seeping into professional journals, and his theory is shocking provincial medical circles. Nordenstrom suggests an additional circulatory system in the body that is entirely electrical. It is separate from the blood, the brain, or the nervous system, and it is profoundly important for good health. The circuits on this system switch on when infection or injury invades the body. The current moves through arteries and veins. Vessels act as cables. Blood and the fluid between the cells of tissue act as conductors. In capillary walls, the positive and negative charges pass through gates and pores. Enzymes form the system's electrodes. Like a circulating magnet, the system draws chemicals and compounds from tissues. It is the electronic watchdog, keeping everything in balance. The very foundation, Nordenstrom claims, for the healing process. Everything works well until the system is disturbed, and then things start to happen. Is it possible cancer and other diseases are the result of small but significant blackouts in a circuitry, of course, that is much more subtle than this? The body electric most likely supports the ancient Chinese art of acupuncture, which supposedly taps into a portion of this system. Western doctors still can't understand why acupuncture works, but it does. With electrical stimulation, it's even more effective. Well, the Chinese have an interest, uh, believe that the reason acupuncture works is, be, is because in a disease process, there's an imbalance between the yin and the yang. The yin and the yang is the negative and positive energies, the positive and negative polarity that flows along 12 major paired meridians and two single meridians that flow through the body. And when there is an imbalance, in a, a disease it is related to an imbalance along these meridians. Oriental physicians believe the body's balance of energy can be restored in some cases by stimulating these meridian points. What we're going to do is put some needles in his back, in his legs. Dr. James Hansen is one of only a handful of licensed physicians in Salt Lake using acupuncture as an optional therapy. He is considered unorthodox among many of his peers, but he too is not a quack. I'm not here because of any belief of that sort. I'm here out of desperation. So uh, uh, if, if such a, th a thing exists, wonderful. If, if relief can be achieved in, in ways other than traditional Western medicine, then I'm, I'm trying to find that out, out for myself. Hansen is intrigued with Nordenstrom's published studies. His theory of a body electric, if true, could not only explain acupuncture, but a little folklore as well. well when Grandpa says his shoulder hurts when the storms come in, too many grandpas have said that to ignore it. I think there's something there that happens with the energy. And certainly the electromagnetic energy associated with storm fronts may be very significant. And we may be, and it may disturb the electrical system in the world. Circuitry or monitoring the flow of electrical current along these meridian points seems so bizarre. And since so much remains unknown about Nordenstrom's theory, it is a difficult pill for Western medicine to swallow. But technology in medicine is far from etched in stone. This could be one of those far-fetched concepts accepted as routine human anatomy 20 years down the road. An electrifying possibility? Perhaps. <laughs>